Well, this summarizes our 2022 BVI sailing trip. We first went to Sopers Hole and met Jose. From there, we did a dive at the Rhone, a very famous place, and then off and stayed overnight at Cooper Island. After that, we ventured up uh, to the northeast and stayed at Sabre Rock, which is freshly reborn after the hurricane. Very nice. Then we had a beam reach over to Anagata and took mopeds out there. From there, we went to Leverick Bay and Bitter End, so we went back to, to the Bay Area. We did a dive at the Great Dog, then off on a downwind run to Yost Van Dyke and stayed overnight at Great Harbor. From there, we went to the bubbly pools of Yost and stayed at another night at Serpers Hole. Then we dove at Angelfish Reef and off to Norman Island. And then we made it back home to BVI Yachts. I hope you liked my video. So there is Reventador, which is the yacht that we sailed all around the islands. It's a twin wheel design, has twin rudders, and it's very stable and fast. It's a four, 44 foot Genoa 440, and it, uh, you know, just sails up to like eight and a half knots we got up to. Ah, there's my crew. Alrighty, there's Pat, James, and Jose. And this is in the Bay of Anagata after we did a moped trip. So that just gives you a view of our beautiful yacht. You can see the scuba tanks. We did do scuba diving throughout the islands. Hi, right, here we are. We're sailing on the east end of Tortola, heading to Virgin Gorda. And off there is the dogs. Dolphins. Dolphins, where? <laughs> Oh, nice. There's dolphin out there. Woo! Got some dolphin action, huh? And then we're looking back. There's Pat. He's piloting today. Looks like he's getting comfortable. Kind of looks like Captain Hook. That's his gray beard. And then we're flipping around, and there's James. Oh, we got some waving going on, baby. So how you guys doing? As good as you can be. <laughs> All right. And we're just kind of... And we're just sailing over to uh, Virgin Norda. And staying out in Leverick Bay.
Okay, here we are docked at Leverick Bay. We're going we're picking up some water and fuel. And uh, James is off to the background over there. And uh, Reventador just got back from Anagata. So it was a nice sail out there, about 15 miles, and then we sailed back. So now we're getting geared up for Leverick Bay for the night. Okay, here we are at Bitter End. There's James, and uh, they just rebuilt this place. There's a little shipyard bar. And it has some nice support buildings and hotel. They're currently working on the dock system that looks really pretty. So you can bring nice large boats out there. And Virgin Gorda is a very pretty place to be hanging out. That's where we moored a couple nights ago at Saber Rock. And we're back to the boat bar. Now we're going to go inside to show you what the inside looks like. Oh, there's Jose. Hello. Working on the log book. Oh, Jose is working on the log book. Diving. Messing around. Main cabin. There's the uh, main cabin area where James and uh, Pat are sleeping. There's the salon. Back to Jose. The kitchen is very nice, it has a microwave and stove, good little sink. It's got a head in here, gives you an idea of what the head looks like. And shower assembly. There's where Jose is sleeping. So it's a queen size bed, plenty of room back there. There's plenty of room, right, Jose, back there? Oh, yeah, it's comfy. It's nice. Yeah, Especially excellent. The door, the uh, closet is nice. The closet. Yeah. Do you like the walk in bathroom? Yeah, door? I have access, direct access to the bathroom from the side. <laughs> nice. Okay, and then we got. My little cubby, same thing, it's a nice queen size bed. And plenty of storage. Got everything like kind of organized in there. And that's it, I had a little navigation table. And what's nice about the navigation table is it has VHF with a locator, radar, Positioning, which is good. Electronic panel that tells me everything I need to know about water tanks and little electrical panel. Has a couple of really nice Bose speakers. You can probably hear it playing in the background. 
And that's the tour, guys. about 22 knots of wind heading towards Norman Island and beating up the channel and uh, so we got our sails reefed and uh, just heading on morning Captain. Jose is piloting over there A little windy and wavy, but it's good, right? Yeah, working the wheel. That's all the little five adventure. Hey, Pat, what are you doing? Cooking up some grub. So what? What's for uh, grub today? Fresh fish. Oh, nice. Some fresh fish. Some good old Idaho potatoes. It looks like potatoes. we have uh, some <laughs> potatoes. Oh, good old Idaho potatoes. And how did we do on the provisioning end? Uh, I've got some crackers <laughs> and some beans that we didn't eat. Oh, yeah. That's so, about it. Are you going to take the beans with you or what are you doing? No, with them? We'll leave the, leave the beans <laughs> behind. <laughs> All right. Nice, okay, I'm going to head up. Okay, we've been uh, sitting here. We went out and decided to go up a hill on Norman. Great idea, Jim. Oh yeah, that was a wonderful idea. And we had to deal with all these stickers. And uh, we had cactus in us and thorns in us. All kinds of James cactus. had to perform major surgery on my foot to <laughs> pull a at least three different no uh, joke at least three different pull types a spike of out my foot three different types of swords so, no joke all right let me uh, get some Norman footage this is Norman Island which is an absolutely beautiful place and it's usually the last place uh, you sail to before you take it back to a uh, road town. Okay guys, I got James in the background over there. James Taylor? He's actually filming us. So, what is it that you thought was a highlight of the trip? We're, we're abandoning, uh, we're coming to the end of the sail. So what is it that you guys thought was a highlight? Diving was really nice. Diving? And of course, the zip lag on the phone, so when you got wet, it did not Save, it saved the phone. That was good. Well, yeah. It was nice. It zipped like my I thought those pina coladas uh, in Anagata were really one of the highlights. <laughs> <laughs> that North Shore there. The pina colada. With that, with that $150 saved. The, 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 the 12 the foot waves crashing in at the bar James there. James and had bushwhackers there. Didn't what what we about, the, what yeah, about the scenery? Did you guys like Anagata? The crashing waves in the North Shore, that was, was awesome. Was and the that guy, swell uh, coming in. Very unusual. You usually don't see all that crashing waves and north winds and strong. Yes. That was nice. Right. That was cool. We were lucky we got to see that. And what did you think about the sail over to Anagata? That was probably the coolest part. It's just open ocean. Yeah. And just uh, like literally you're sailing towards nothing you can see. Just got to rely on a heading. Um, so, right. And the uh, winds were just cranking through. Yeah, there, I so think you was, took the wheel on that one, right? Yep. Most of the way. And kept kept targeting that left side of the island uh, the whole way there. Even yes. when I couldn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden it appeared magically where it, it should have appeared been. magically. What'd you like about Yoast? The bubbly pool? Well, well the bubbly pool is the classic, a good of course. Class. That's always beautiful scenery but also the dive tank like the the diver shop was nice the dive shop was very nice 
it was cool to get back into Foxy's again and actually like enjoy it and not spend uh, the time uh, floating around on the ocean in the middle of the yeah, night. Like last so time. We actually got to enjoy Foxy's a little bit this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, dancing. <laughs> a little da yeah. Music. A little dancing. I well, signed the Virginia Tech flag. That's true. You did years. sign the Virginia Tech for 2019 and 2022. And 2022. <laughs> And you like the Rhone, I assume, the, the Rhone dive. Yeah, Rhone's a classic. Such a cool dive. Dive down to the propeller. Could do that every time. Right. Could do that one every time. Things huge. Yeah, and I think I think the EVI was somewhat dated with the... Um, I mean, COVID definitely knocked the crowds down, based on what I saw there. It just didn't seem as busy as it Which is kind of good once you get past all yeah. the trouble and you're inside it's actually nicer right it's a little less people so. the second day literally we were the only ones out on the road i just think the mind. tranquility and the peacefulness you know when you're on the open ocean sailing cruising winds cranking full sails out and just not much of a better feeling yeah just, no engine just you and just you and nature baby <laughs> power but serenity it's the same they just kind of meet together it's you can feel the oneness with the, the ocean, just riding riding the currents and yeah. no engine, no nothing. Uh, it's just you riding the wind and that's pretty much it. Yeah. The other nice thing was the landing on the uh, Sandy K. Oh yeah, the, the, the dinghy the landing. <laughs> yeah, we took it straight in and... Straight in, got out, no problem. Launched straight yeah. out. You, 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 you found the propeller step and got right on, that was awesome. <laughs> Right. Yeah. I was like, how did he get out? I'm like, oh, we're going to go back and get him. I almost oh, lost Jeff so on the fast. way out. <laughs> but, <laughs> right. We, we, we made it pretty like, smooth. Holy cow, how did he get out there so fast? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> well, the other thing is, uh, uh, or another thing to thankful for, I didn't, didn't kill myself wiping out on the mopeds on the indicator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> I yeah. pulled a James Bond uh, sliding stunt yeah. off the bike and uh, stunt man dismount. And, uh, fortunately, just had a little knee scrape and Lost uh, that's skin. about it. But uh, going 30, 35 miles per hour, wiping out that could have uh, it could have ended in a lot of worse. Could have been worse. Way. Yeah, been uh, a big delay. Pretty fun dinner, a lobster dinner. Lobster oh dinner. Yeah, that's a lobster great dinner lobster dinner awesome. at the uh, hotel. And the, pa and the pasta with smoked. shrimp was amazing good by oh, we did Chef good. Pat. We've done pretty uh, well. Awesome. Pretty we, good. Yeah, all of our meals have been uh, cooked in the in the in the boat minus the, the lobster dinner. So we've been we've been feasting pretty well. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Definitely good, have to do the, the the buoy buddy again. That was. Uh, yeah, that, I thought that busy. worked out. I was able to keep a day ahead every single yeah. day. Got to do and, extra uh, show. I mean, we literally came yeah. in uh, pretty much like 4.30, give or take, <laughs> a little bit. A little and, past uh, that, I, I still found the buoys. I, I think of something with those buoys that transformed the experience to relaxing, um, not as a, you know, a hurry to get yeah. Where you need yeah, to go. we had all day. And so yep. we made some full days uh, into just pleasure yeah. and yep. peacefulness. You make more of the day out in the water and you're more relaxed coming in. Because yeah. even if we came in late, it's late for the boat, but the buoy is, we know is going to be there. And nobody yeah. should take our buoy. So. Can I drink my beer? Yeah. yeah. So, so, so how did this crew compare to the last that. crew you had three <laughs> years ago? <laughs> <laughs> in the 19, well, the 19 crew versus this that, two. This crew was definitely more experienced than the last <laughs> oh, yeah, so like, yeah. <laughs> You've got some, some uh, you, you trained as well. You trained as well. 19, yeah, there you go. It was trial by fire on 19 and 22 was all smooth sailing. Yeah, it was just little thing was a small all the time. time. Any, so. Anything that happened was a small thing that we just adapted to easy. So you, you broke us. And, and now you're <laughs> refining our, our skills a little bit. Yeah, 2019 was the boot camp. Yeah, <laughs> sailing boot camp. But I mean, it, it, it was kind of excellent because I really didn't do a whole lot. I mean, you guys did most of it. I just kind of guided, that was all. We, we so. do need to give some credit where credit's due. Yeah. I mean, you, you overcame the COVID, you conquered the, yeah. the COVID. COVID bureaucracy. <laughs> the COVID, COVID impasse. 
Right. And you, you got us here. You, you got us through all that. And then you led us through an experience of a lifetime. Yeah. So sure. well, good. I'm memories. glad you appreciate this it. Is, yeah. A lot of good. It's an epic adventures. You know, this is top ten if there ever will be. Yeah. You know, it doesn't get much better. Than this. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We got another trip. In we the future, we don't can we? we could keep trying to improve <laughs> upon now, it. Now now I got an even more experienced crew yeah. that I can. That's right. Yeah. You know, keep take improving of. upon it. So. And um, if we can beat this, uh, let's 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 go for it. Let's try. All right. All in one piece. All in one piece. That's all that matters. <laughs> all right.